Good morning, Kenya. Can you hear us? Hello, everyone. Hello, Anja. Hi, Johnson. How are you? Good, very good. How are you doing? Nice to good see thing. you. Good, thanks. Good to see you, too. Are we? Are we so can I see we us? Great. Yes, we can start. Great, great. So, good morning, everyone. Um, from wherever you're watching, my name is Johnson Bogwa. I am head of marketing at the Boma International Hospitality College. Today, we are joined by uh, our PHMS representatives from Switzerland, as well as a very special guest who is an alumni of both BIC and BHMS. Uh, so, maybe I'll start by introducing Onja. Onja is uh, marketing. Uh, Africa Marketing Manager for BHMS. Maybe, Onja, you can say hello to everyone. Hello, Kenya. Good morning. Nice to see you all. So, I'm Onja. I'm the Africa Regional Manager at BHMS. Thank you very much, BIHC. Thank you very much, John, Mr. Johnson, for having us today, hosting this event with you today. So, just to remind you, you can just drop your questions in the chat box at any time, and we will answer them later on. Great, great, good to see you. And we have Olive Miner, an Hello. alumna of both BIHC and BHMS. How are you, Olive? I'm doing fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Where are you? Are you in Switzerland? Are you in Kenya? Are you... I'm back in Kenya. Uh, <laughs> yes, I'm very, doing very good. good. Thank you. Good to Thanks see you. for having me. Good to see everyone also. You're welcome. So um, we're very uh, pleased to have uh, Miss Olive with us this morning because she can share her experience um, while she was studying here in Kenya as well as when she went to Switzerland. Of course, she has um, gained invaluable experience in both places and of course, we're very keen to hear um, what she's been through these past few years. Yeah. Okay. We also have with us uh, the BHMS Marketing Manager, Mr. Giovanni Rebai all the way in Switzerland. Mr. Giovanni, very good to see you. Hello, hello, Jumbo. Hello, Jumbo. Kenya. How is life down there? Everything fine? Nice and warm. Uh, that's good. Like in Switzerland. <laughs> this is uh, interesting. Very so, good, very good. Finally, the summer is back also in Africa. That's lovely. It, it didn't leave, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, still, though. Well, I, I, used, I called last week. They told me, oh, here is very cold in the evening, actually. We, we, you call it winter, but it's not a real winter like we have in Switzerland. <laughs> different, though. I can, no, uh, yes. No. Um, so, yeah, it's very good to see you. Um, Thank you. Same you to could, you. Yeah. Maybe you could kick us off, tell us a little bit about yourself, tell us a little bit yes, about please. BHMS and so on. Yes. So, uh, myself is, uh, my name is Rebai, and I'm the uh, Senior International Sales and Marketing Manager of BHMS, as you heard that. Uh, Mr. Johnson is uh, our great partner in Switzerland with BHMS, BIC, working together with BHMS. And later on, we will explain it to you, the opportunity for students who want to further study after finish a diploma in Nairobi at Bowman School. Uh, well, let, let me start. Sorry, I don't want to be boring, but let me start with the COVID situation. Uh, COVID situation uh, definitely was terrible for all the people who left us in the whole world. But now, slowly, slowly, a lot of people realize that the COVID brings us more opportunity and especially for young people. There are thousands of a new jobs opportunity. They are there and people need to grab them, to catch them. The COVID in Switzerland, let me tell you, it's a little bit different comparing to other countries. We thank God we, this week, last week, actually, we started our August intake, the 24th. We had people coming from such a cold quarantine country. So what we have done it, we try ourselves to be as much as professional as we could. We picked up every single student from a quarantine zone, one driver, one car, one student. Then enter into the school. There are staff ready with a plastic cask, 
with the mask, gloves, enter the data into the computer, given the phone, school phone, calling the parents, mama, daddy, I'm arrived, and then bring the student into our, uh, we call a comfort zone or a quarantine zone, call the way you wanna. One entire floor was prepared only for those people coming from the quarantine country. So in the main building, as you go into another country, those quarantine people, they may have to go to a government building, which is a very far from the city maybe, and you don't have any connection, you don't have any Wi-Fi. So BHMS, together with the government, we work out, we have enough space, we want our student staying with us. So the whole floor was occupied with our student, 17, 18 student out of the 85 coming from quarantine country. They stay for 10 days in those apartment. They could download from the app what breakfast, what lunch, what dinner they want to have. And again, the same staff was responsible for the quarantine people three times a day, deliver the meals to the, to the room. And then if they want to have some juices or fruit or a little chocolate, our staff was ready to running every hour or a second hour to bring whatever the student they feel like it. So we really try to make it as best as possible for the student that they feel really welcome. Not only the student who's not coming from a quarantine country, but also those quarantine students, they felt, wow, that's lovely to be in a quarantine in Switzerland because I am in the campus of a BHMS. So that was a very good point. We start already face-to-face -face classes since the last three months. And this is why I said at the beginning, Switzerland is in a different situation compared to other country. If students want to wear a mask in class, they're allowed to do it. The classes, they were already smaller before the COVID. We had maximum 20 to 22 students in a class. Now we allow them 10 to 12 students only. And a minimum two meters of separation between each other. So we have to follow the government rules, but students feel very, very comfortable. And let me tell you, 99% of the students, either in class or either in our restaurants, no one wear the mask. Mask, you have to wear it as a student when you travel in a train or in a bus transportation, then student will tell them to um, wear a mask. But otherwise, within the BHMS environment in 12 campuses, apartments and so on, students never wear a mask. But in case they are forced to do it, we have mask for students and make sure that they're, they're wearing it when is the time. Uh, beside that, the COVID situation, we have also now nesting tape will be the 5th of October and another one in November. And we really hope that the situation will continue like this. We are always in contact with the government. Government come and controlling our institution every 15 days. And we always check every day if there is any changes regarding the COVID-19. So now I don't want to make you sick and tired of this uh, forced uh, rules to do it, but it's very important when your parents know how we act in Switzerland, they may feel more comfortable because at the end of the day, your father, your mother are paying a lot of money and they have to know how we acting with you when you come into our country. That was the reason why I spent a few minutes and I try my best to make you understand what is COVID in Switzerland comparing to other countries. Uh, the opportunity, as I said it before, in, in, in this world business is becoming bigger, much bigger, believe me. Sure, you read in the news, so you hear the news every day, you read in newspaper, it says the whole world break down, 20% less income, 50% less income, thousands of a company are closing, even university they're closing. But do you ever ask yourself why university in the States or maybe in UK, UK less, but in the States and Australia, they have to close their door. Did you ever ask yourself? Very simple. Why? There in those universities, you go only to study. And at the end of your study program, you're getting a degree. But today, 
this is not enough anymore. And let me tell you, do you know that 85% of the student getting a degree anywhere in the world, in any co uh, continent, Africa, Australia, Eurasia, or uh, Europe, or America, they are not um, employable. And do you know why? Because you study one, two, three, four, five years, study, 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 make an exam. And at the end, after five years, do you think are those students ready when they offer themselves to the, to the world market? No way. All the employer will then say, so sorry, my company is full, but I wish you all the best and I hope you may have a chance another time. At BHMS, like you do it there in Kenya for the first two years, it is very important, not only the education, not only the academic part, but the working part. This is far more important to preparing students The within three years program, they do half of the time study and half of the time they are working. And only that way will bring you to a certain possibility to enter into the business world. So when a student from Bowman School come into BHMS in Switzerland for one year, for the final year, like Miss Olive was with us, a great student, she managed to do the uh, bachelor degree in hospitality management. She will tell you more about it later on. Uh, students are ready to enter into the business world. And we open the door for those students to go anywhere. Why we can do that? Because we have so many international companies come and visit us at school. So we don't have to send students to London for an interview, but a student, they have the interview at our campus with those international HR manager, and they have the possibility to get a contract in America or Europe or UAE, any countries where this business is running at best. And we are in contact with the best and the biggest company in the world, which provide a quality learning process to become a manager one day. And once you've done a bachelor degree, you've done your three years of study and working, that gives you the possibility to work anywhere. But if I study and study and study, like in most of the best universities in the world, but I don't have any working experience, that will become very difficult to offer myself to the market. So advantage of a study program, study system, Bomber Institution and BHMS in Switzerland, it is really a perfect design, study and working system to learn. And as you may heard already from Mr. Johnson or from our webinar early on, in Switzerland, when you do your internship, you're not working for free, but you're getting a 2,212 Swiss francs, plus you're having a, a 13 salary participations, which means 2,212 Swiss francs, plus top up with about 190 Swiss francs. So you're taking one salary divided by 12, and this is around uh, 2,400 Swiss francs. This is your minimum guarantee salary. I just want to tell you, one Swiss franc is at the moment 119 Kenyan shilling. So you multiply by 2,400 and you find out what's your salary. It's kind of a good money, believe me. All right. But it's not the point, the money. The point is the quality of a study program, study, education, go into the system, understanding the quality to become an entrepreneur. We are not preparing waiters and cook or housekeeper, but we are preparing young person, a young lady or young man to become mature and understanding the entrepreneurial side. This is our strongness in Switzerland. And when they're finished, we provide them an international jobs opportunity. And this is a perfect design study program, which believe me, every student wish to do so. So if you at BOMA, you're finishing, and I hope you will manage and I'm quite sure about it. You finish your two years program, the world is waiting for you because a young people, young generation has now 
the opportunity to find many new jobs. Yes, COVID it is, and it was terrible, but COVID gives the opportunity to every young people to jump in. Wow, I have an idea. Why doing the same system? We can do totally different. Rather than coming from the, from the main door, we are coming from the back door. And here we are. And this is exactly the opportunity today that you have. You're young, you're smart, you're getting a proper education. Definitely maybe some money will be missing, but the money will come when you have a proper project, believe me. And we will teach you also to do a business plan. So there is no money, there is some support from the bank. So these all you will learn when you come here in Switzerland. And already the first step you're learning back in Nairobi at Beaumont School. So please don't think, oh, it's terrible now to go for an internship. I know in Kenya you have to work very hard when you do your internship. You may have a little money or maybe not money at all. But do not think about the money now. Think always about the career. Once you've done your study, once you have a degree, once you've done a one or two, three years working experience, then you can demand the money that you want because you know exactly how to work. Give an example, a student who is doing the same program in Australia or UK or whatsoever other country, the same program as you, you after three years, you getting into such a call junior management position. A student who studied not in Switzerland, but into another beautiful, wonderful country, I'm not minimizing at the country or university, do not misunderstand me, that person will take to reach the same student in Switzerland, same position, it will take another two to three years. So you are two to minimum three years ahead to any student in the world. Like as I said at the beginning, 85% of the students are with the degree are unemployable. So they're waiting, waiting with the wish to get immediately uh, a top job because they're thinking, oh, I have a degree, I have a master, I have an MBA and so on. So you have to give me that salary. It is not like that. Where is the part where did you learn your such a call soft skills, hard skills that you're learning while you are in Switzerland, while you are in Nairobi? This is the most important part, which gives you the opportunity to, to understand how to talk to a guest. The such a called service sector industry, which is in, in the hospitality, in the tourism, in, in the banking sector, in the insurance company, in the marketing area, service sector, any businesses who are delivering a service. And that's what we are teaching. And service sector industry, if you study a model for the service sector industry, what BHMS and the Bowman Institution is doing it, well, don't believe me, go have a look and Google it. 63 to 65% of all the jobs in every country, no matter if it's America or Africa or Asia, 63 to 65% of those uh, people are in the country, in, in, like all the Kenyan, they are working into the service sector industry. What does that mean? If you lose a job, you can get easily a second time or a third job. But if you're doing it, learning only certain criteria, certain area, well, if you lose a job, it will become very difficult to get a second job. By study such a, how shall I say, puzzle of, a, of a management of business together with the practical side gives you much, much more your opportunity. And this is why when Ms. Onger, our African manager and myself, we were traveling before, we were traveling soon, I hope, and I hope to come and visit you in Kenya. When we are talking to people, we show them the possibility of uh, hundreds of uh, jobs possibility, and not only hospitality or work in the tourism office, but it's a far much bigger the possibility to do or to have a job. So quality of education is there. The quality of education is sharing the education or the academic part together with the working part. Learning languages at BHMS, we teach you two different languages. So um, at least, so these bring you into a, a, a CV to prepare your CV very strong that every employer said, oh, wow, you've been working there in Switzerland. Ah, oh, you've been working in Kenya in a top hotel or a top restaurant. 
oh, you know, basic German, you're basic French. Why not? Please, let's sit down and talk about it. You have a chance. While other students from other countries, from other institutions may have some difficulties. Why? Because it is the practical part which is missing. So once again, do not complain now when you have to do a hard job, but there must be a reason why, because at the end of the program, you will get payback. No one time, 100 times. That's it. So I would like maybe to invite other partners here. Maybe Anja, would you like to share a few, a few words regarding the, the study program? And maybe also later on to have Olive with us and tell her our, her experience in Switzerland when she was studied there at BHMS. Please. Thank you very much, Mr. Ribai, uh, for, for the speech. You are. It was very informative. Uh, just would like to ask now uh, Ms. Olive if um, she can share her experience in Switzerland because she is the best person to, to, to share her experience. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Uh, my name is Olive, and I'm alumni of both BHMS and BIHC. So BIHC is in Kenya, Nairobi, and BHMS is in Lausanne in Switzerland. And I had the best experience. First of all, Switzerland is a very, very beautiful country. Everybody is really nice. The food is amazing. And um, for my study and my school, I did a one-year program. Uh, the, I did my degree in hospitality management, which was amazing. And I, I was so busy in school, I was taught everything I needed, which I actually used in my internship. And actually the German lessons came through. I had to improve my German. I had to improve my soft skills and hard skills. I had to step up the game when I went for internship. I had to be on my toes. I needed to work fast. So first, um, for our students who want to join the BHMS, I would uh, advocate for you to join. It's a beautiful school. Everyone, the lecturers and the other international students are really nice. I got to make friends with a lot of international students, including my friend Onja from Madagascar. Yes. <laughs> I got to meet other Chinese people, Asian people, some Philippines. I got to have Swiss friends, Italian friends, and I can comfortably say I have other Korean friends. I can say maybe hello in five different languages, which is something I didn't know before I went to <laughs> before I went to BHMS. So I'd say it was a very beautiful experience. Uh, the school, I would say they definitely have you on your toes. They'll keep you busy 100%. So you have, when you're in school, you're in school, you're going to study hard, which everything you study, you're going to use uh, in your internship. So I would advise everybody who's aspiring to go to BHMS to take everything uh, that you're taught in school because they teach you what you would actually use and learn while you're working and um, for the internship part, I worked from February to August, which was when also the COVID situation happened. But I was lucky I got to finish my internship, although there are a few rules that we had to follow while working, such that when, when we opened back our restaurant, we had to wear masks and gloves for the first few weeks that we were working with people. And we also were not allowed to like come close to the guests, which was a bit hard because you know in hospitality you have to make the guests feel comfortable. So for the first few weeks, but everyone was understanding it's because of the COVID situation. So we had to we had to follow all the government rules that we were given. I had to I had the opportunity to work in a fully Swiss restaurant, so I had to perfect my German every day. I had to speak German from morning to evening, which was actually quite interesting because I got to learn a lot of things that I don't think I would learn anywhere else apart from my internship. So um, I got to work actually in my restaurant. We had actually, it was, I would say international because we had chefs from Romania and one from Albania. We had me from Kenya and then we had a Swiss Filipino uh, guy who was working with us and a Portuguese girl and a Japanese girl. So you would see we were quite international, even from the school and transit to the restaurant. I had the experience to work with different people, understand different 
uh, cultures, I had the opportunity to learn and understand the different German and the Swiss German. I had the opportunity to understand the food. Uh, I had I had quite a beautiful experience. And one thing about Switzerland was uh, it's a safe country, one thing. So even if I had to work late hours or early morning, I was assured that even if I was going to work, I, I was going to be safe whether I take the bus or whether I walk. It was going to be a beautiful experience. And I'm sure if you get to join the BHMS uh, schools, you will definitely learn a lot you will also definitely make money and <laughs> and you're going to get a, a lot of good uh, experience. I would say something that definitely money cannot buy because you cannot buy to work in a Swiss restaurant or in a Switzerland restaurant. So I feel like it's a good investment for each student that wants to join because you uh, for the internship, you get to learn a lot. Like you're put like you're like a common you you and the person employed have no difference. So you get to handle everything that they do. You get to do everything that they do as compared to other internships, I feel like in other countries, um, you're not allowed to do quite as much as everyone else does. But like in Switzerland, you work like you're employed there, which is a good opportunity. I feel like you don't get anywhere else because you get to learn everything in the restaurant, how everything is done. I can comfortably probably run a restaurant on my own now with all the skills I have because my six months internship felt like I was working for one year and I fully understand everything that I learned during my school and work period. Yeah. Wow, what did what you hear? Full of Thank passion you. and experience. Unbelievable. And this Thank is only so one year time, six months internship turn you upside down to understanding yep. what's a reality it is and this okay. is very good thank you very much Ali, because that's exactly the right message that we have to give to our student that's is true. not to go abroad and leave the parents and maybe meet some other people sure but the priority is to do i live like this and i'm returning like that that's true this is very important excellent thank you very much for your talk thank you you're welcome Thank you, Olive. So now we can start with uh, the questions because we received, we received quite few questions in the chat box and also before we started the live, a lot of students already sent the questions. So the first question that we have here is uh, regarding the partnership between uh, BIHC and uh, BHMS. I don't know, Mr. Johnson, if uh, you would like to, to answer this question. So how how's the partnership between BHC and BHMS? If we start to study, the students start to study at BHC, uh, what is the next uh, after the two years? You're on mute, Mr. Johnson. Ah, sorry. <laughs> So uh, yeah, this, this partnership was formed back in 2016. Um, I'll take you back to 2015 when BIHC was formed and the reason why we exist. So uh, um, it's a very cool story of how the Kenya Red Cross Society got into sustainable business through hospitality, um, through hotels. And soon after, after developing a five-star hotel, the Boma Hotel, they realized that there was a lack of skill and, and quality, quality trained personnel in the country. So it was logical for, for, for them to start a school, right? Train your own people, you know, and eventually they improve the quality of, of output and, and services. Now, sometimes, you know, they say that you, you should go together rather than alone. So we thought that it would be wise to learn and to partner with with the Swiss. As you all know, the Swiss are considered the leaders in hospitality, um, in hospitality training. And therefore, after scanning the, the Swiss schools, then we found a very suitable partner um, in BHMS. Now, what BHMS does is that they give us an, an opportunity for faculty development, for example, for curriculum development, Right. We always have um, faculty exchange and staff exchange for that exchange of skills. Uh, we've had um, 
the BHMS executive chef, Chef uh, Sean Leonard coming in here, giving us a few master classes. But we've also had our chefs go over to Switzerland also to learn something new, but also to share their experience with, with the Swiss. So there's really that cultural um, exchange, which is very important for our development. Now, other than that, what is also very um, crucial with this partnership is the Swiss Diploma. So as you all know, we offer two main programs, the Swiss Diploma in Hotel Management and the Swiss Diploma in Culinary Arts. So once students finish two years here, then they graduate with a dual diploma. One will be from BIHC because you studied here in Kenya, but also another will be um, a, a Swiss diploma, an actual diploma from, from BHMS. So Miss Olive here, I'm sure um, she'll tell you that she graduated with those two uh, diplomas. Now, after studying for two years here in Kenya, then if, if you qualify, then you may progress to Switzerland for one year to get your bachelor's degree, right? In either culinary arts, global business management, or hospitality management, right? So there's a lot going on with this partnership uh, between BHC and BHMS, um, but also additionally, we also, or rather BHMS also offers two scholarships, two academic scholarships to our best performing students, right? Um, I'm sure later we'll talk about the fees and you'll see it's, it is quite pricey to study in Switzerland, but as Olive has said, there's a reason behind that big price tag, right? The quality of education, the quality of life is a bit different there. So there's a lot going on with this partnership, but we're very, very excited and very happy to have uh, BHMS um, as our anchor partner in, in education. And th thank you, Johnson. Uh, sorry, Yonja. And I believe also, like you just say now, it is with only one year of investment, you will get a degree, not a, just a diploma, but you will get an international degree, a Swiss bachelor degree and a British bachelor degree. And this is really unique. Sure, I agree with you. It may be a lot of money, but as you say, the two best a student in the school every year that will get possibility to get a full scholarship, right? And also for the others, there are some other scholarship or discounting, quite big though. So uh, uh, Mr. Johnson will uh, provide you all that information together with Ms. Onja and let you know exactly how we can deal with payments and so on. But it is really a unique opportunity to get a degree in only one year investment. This is, I would say, it's really great, yes. Yeah, and you can also save a lot since you do your first two years in Kenya and only come for the third year. Exactly. And also don't, don't forget that you will earn <clears throat> six times monthly salary of 2,212 Swiss francs per month. Yes. So thank you for that. The next question is about online and face-to-face -face classes at BIHC and the BHMS. So, Mr. Johnson, uh, how is the, the education now at uh, BIHC? Yeah, so um, as, as you know, I think the last time I spoke with uh, Mr. Rebai, we were very surprised to hear that BHMS and Switzerland were already going back to face-to-face -face classes almost, you said three months, three months ago. Um, unfortunately, the situation is a bit different here in Kenya because the government ordered that all the schools remain closed physically and that uh, people can, can do their online learning. Now, as BIC, we were very quick to transition into online learning. We, we built a very strong online learning um, platform. Um, all our books, I know I'm here in the library, but of course we can't physically use this room. So all these books you see behind me were transferred online, right? Um, other than that, then we also filmed lots of videos, you know, because again, the students were not here to practice, but at least when you have a bit of theory, you can watch a video and then you can try um, to, to practice at home, then, you know, you're still developing and you're still growing and you're still learning. Yeah. So I think so far we've completed an entire term of theory lectures online. The students um, started their holidays um, about a week or two ago, um, or rather it's a break as we wait for, for the government to give us permission to now do our practical lessons. 
So, so far for everyone watching, what has happened is that we've been in inspected, of course, by the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Education, the county government, uh, the county health inspectorate. So now basically what we're doing, um, and as you've heard also probably from the news, um, is we're waiting for confirmation from the Ministry of Education on whether we can uh, reopen for our practical lessons. If not, if we cannot offer the practical lessons as, as of now, then what we are doing is that we are going to do our theories. It's a misconception and people think that um, hospitality and culinary arts is all just practicals and cooking and serving and, and cleaning, but it's not just that, you know. Soon you're going to have to become a manager um, or run your own business, right? So you still need the, the theory um, bit of it, the sales and marketing, the human resource management, the financial accounting, right? So there's still a big chunk of, of theory that we must do. So the idea is that we would be doing the theory in case we cannot reopen for whatever reason, then we will start our theory online. And then when things go back to normal and we're allowed to reopen, then, you know, we'll, we'll facilitate all the practical units. So that's what's happening here. Okay, so I hope uh, it answers your question. And thank you very much, uh, Johns Johnson, for that. Uh, we in Switzerland, as you said earlier, we already started the uh, face-to-face -face classes since few few months ago. Uh, the next question is from uh, Virginia Nyambutu. Hi, how do I pick a good hotel for internship where I can gain from all departments? I am in Kenya. So okay. if I think she would like to know about the internship uh, uh, in Kenya. Yeah. So um, Virginia, what happens is through our program is very similar to, to BHMSs and hence this partnership where we, have, we balance our theory with the practicals and we also give the work experience. What Mr. Rebai said that um, by the time you finish your studies here, at least you have something on your CV as well, right? Now, each year, students have to complete three months of internship here in Kenya when you study at BIC. This is facilitated by our, our placement office, our internships office. We give you, we allow you to choose up to three different hotels of your choice. So Virginia, I think here, um, the choice that you make on, on an internship is based on a lot of factors. For example, your location, you know, if you want to be closer to home and you live in Mombasa, then definitely uh, you should think about Saroba White Sands or, or some of the other big hotels there. If you're adventurous and um, you're thinking to get out of your comfort zone, then we can even organize an internship for you as far as Kigali in Rwanda, right? Um, then it's not just about hotels because um, if you're someone who's very good at F&B service like uh, uh, Miss Olive here, then you could also consider a restaurant. Right? So um, there's lots of factors to this, but of course, what we do is we have our career forums here in the school where we spend some time with you and explain to you about our um, about possible internship positions for you. And then basically you make the right choice guided by the school. Can I uh, just add in something about this question, which is actually is a very important. When she say a good hotel and a bad hotel, Good hotel or bad hotel doesn't exist. Here, it's really up to you, young people. What, which area you want to get more information. You are more the type from a front office area. You are more type you want to becoming, learning more about it to become a, a restaurant manager. The other one is more going to the cooking area. So there is no good and a bad hotel. It's really only up to you be and know yourself what you want to learn and which area you would like to invest more time rather than being one month here, one month there, one month there, and then you get confused and you don't understand what to do at the end. But it's actually a student, right, uh, Oliver? Olive, that's, uh, I think this is very important to say to the student because a the student, they're expecting, oh, I hope I'm going to get a good, a good hotel because I don't like to go and work in bad hotel. This doesn't yeah. exist. Like here in Switzerland, we cannot say that. It's really yeah. up to what you want to learn. That, so yeah. if, I, if I interrupt and I put in myself, but I have many years of experience, and this is 
a wrong information given to the students many times. That is not good, that is not bad, that is only what you want to learn more. And that's it. And then we will show you where to go. Yeah. Nothing else. Uh -huh. True. And maybe Olive can also share her experience about the internship process in Switzerland with the photo, uh, CV photo shooting, the CV workshop, and then how they send the, the CV to the employers. Um, Olive, I don't know if you can share share with us a little bit your experience. Okay. Yeah, so um, when I got into BHMS, we, we it was like two weeks into school and we were already being introduced to what we want to do for our work. So as Miss Virginia's question with uh, what exactly you would want to do, uh, for the internship in BHMS, you get to choose what exactly you want to specify in doing. Like for me, I chose a restaurant. So when when we started the CV process, we're called um, our intake and we do the CV photo shoot. We dress um, um, official, sorry. <laughs> so we have to be officially dressed and you need to look smart. So we get our pictures taken, which are quite professional and I still use mine until now. So <laughs> We get the pictures taken, we get to do our CVs, we have meetings on where we're shown what to do, what to write, how to conduct yourself during a trial and internship, which actually is a good question because um, the trial, uh, the interview process in Switzerland and compared to other countries is quite different, which I, did, I, I didn't have a clear uh of what to expect but when i started uh, the process is when i was like oh this is what people do here and i was so surprised because you get to actually show the employer what you're capable of doing for them to hire you which is quite different because in kenya mostly the internship uh the interview process is you go you you just officially it's like a one-on-one -on -one meeting but in switzerland you actually work the whole day to prove to the employer that you're worth being employed you know so um, after we did our CV process is when um, the CV was sent out. You, we were also told to uh, actually, you asked what part of Switzerland you would want to go to. So I chose either Luzon or the mountains. So I wanted actually to do the mountains because I wanted to work in a restaurant. As um, in my CV, all my, all my, um, workplace has always been in hotels. So while I was in Kenya, I specified in hotels because they gave me the opportunity to work in different areas so that I could know what exactly I wanted. And for my last internship, I did my internship in the Boma. In, in our school, we have two hotels, a three-star a three star and a five-star. So I had the opportunity to do my last internship in front office, which I did love, I did enjoy, but then also I wanted to incorporate a restaurant because I have never been able to work in a restaurant before, which is just food and food and food and food. I have never just worked with food only. So I wanted to see the difference between a hotel and a restaurant so that I can compare my career where I want to, the next step I want to go to. So I met with the internship people, they advised me on what to pick and what not to pick. They asked me my strongholds, what I'm good at, and also they advised me to improve my German because it's better for you. The more German you know, the better your job is and the easier your job gets. So after that, they sent my CVs and I did my first trial in the mountains, which was not quite uh, uh, the best, let me say. Then I got the Swiss restaurant in Luzon, which actually was at the city of, it's at the middle of Luzon. So it's actually like a tourist attraction if you Google it you'll see it and I fell in love with that restaurant and I was like, oh, thank God I'm, I, get, I got this because this is what I wanted. It was everything that I hoped and dreamt for. So I started my internship after, uh, after the period of six months in my first uh, coming to BHMS. So after six months is when you start your internship and then you get to actually choose, as I said, what part of what part of Switzerland you want to go to and where you exactly want to do. Like if you want front office, your German has to be tip up like a hundred percent for you have to speak to the guest and help them. So I decided uh, F and B would be great and easy because you get to talk with a lot of guests from different places. You get to fully understand the Swiss cuisine. And for me, I like potatoes and cheese a lot. So I was in the <laughs> best place. <laughs> so I got to enjoy myself a hundred. 
Olive, yeah. can I ask you something that maybe yes. it's also interesting for the student to know? How yeah. many times you went to our internship office before you signed the contract? Just two times. Two times? Yeah. Yeah, we are. So yeah. uh, it goes very quickly. And this is yeah, the service that we provide to the student. This is, I think, yeah. it's very important to make yeah. remarks on that. The yeah. student don't need to go every weekend to search for a job, but we yeah. take care of it. Definitely, you have to go for an interview, or maybe not, depending on the place. But this yeah. is very good. Two time, and you have your contract in your pocket. That's uh, yeah. that's that's amazing. I would say, thank you. And I think Anja, Anja also just um, for the students that might be starting here. Maybe you can just briefly tell us about your first two internships in Kenya. Yes, please. And how they were organized? <clears throat> sorry, me. Yes, Olive. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So I did my first two internships in Kenya before I proceeded to BHMS. My first one, I did it in Crown Plaza, which is in Upper Hill in Kenya, which I got to actually fully train in everything. And I actually appreciate that because I got to do finance. I got to do housekeeping. I got to do front office. I got to do everything literally in the hotel. Because if you're doing hotel or hospitality management, it's easier for you to understand what aspect you would want to actually specify on, as I said earlier on. And for my process um, with BIHC, for the process of internship, as I told you, you're, uh, you're given the opportunity to choose three different hotels that you wish to join. So I think Crown Plaza was one of my choices because it's in Upper Hill. It was easier for me to get there with where I was living at that time. So I got to join the Upper Hill. Also, my intern, my interview process was actually really good. And we actually, as Boma School, I'm proud to say that we were given the first opportunity to interview before other schools. <laughs> so I found that really cool because when we got there and we, we were in different schools, they said, we're going to start with Boma first and then the different schools. So I felt like, wow, so I'm in a good school, which is being recognized everywhere, including somewhere where you're looking for a job. So that's when I got the interview. And they asked me what I wanted to do. And I asked if it's possible to actually just venture out in the different departments. And they told me, yeah, for your for your for what course you're doing, it's possible. So I decided to do everything so that I could have a clear picture of what everything is done and I could make a clear choice of what I really wanted to do. Also for my last internship before I headed to BHMS, I did front office at the BOMA hotels, which was an amazing experience. I got to really learn a lot. I was able to handle a lot of things. My managers and my colleagues were really awesome. They helped me do everything. And that's when I decided, well, okay, I have now done fully front office. I would really love to understand how now restaurants work because I have now different, I have hotels, I've worked in hotels before. So since I was not able to get an opportunity to just work fully in a restaurant, I thought it would be better for my CV and for my understanding to be able to learn what really goes on in the restaurant. So that's when, after I finished my two internships at the BOMA is when I proceeded to BHMS and I fully did restaurant. Great. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank, thank you, Oli, for uh, sharing your experience, both at uh, BHC and at BHMS. So now let's move on to the next question from Uyaizu uh, Alice. I'm sorry if I pronounced that in the right way. So we want to ask what you need to, what you need to someone to complete in order to be your student. So I suppose uh, Alice, you're asking about the entry requirements. So uh, Mr. Johnson, would you like to start at BOM? And yeah. then later on, I will do the B BHMS entry requirements. Yeah, sure. So, Alice, um, for our diploma programs, uh, you would need a minimum grade of a C minus in KCSE for you to be able to begin here in Switzerland, in, in Kenya, um, for your two years, for your two year program. But it's not just about your grades, also, what we look at is your attitude right in your character so you must come also for a physical um interview but of course now because of covid we are, we are doing some of the interviews either via phone or or um or via skype or zoom 
So that's the basic entry requirements from here. Anja? So for, yes, thank you very much, uh, Johnson, for uh, BHMS. So in order to enter into the final year, if you have done the the two year two years at Boma, so you will need to see your transcript at Boma. How how are you doing? And then we will also have a Skype interview. So as uh, Mr. Johnson he mentioned earlier, it's not only about the grade, but also about your attitude. And of course also English because uh, all the courses are taught in English. So you'll have to to do a test, but this won't be a problem for all Kenyan students. So I hope at least that uh, answer your question. Next one. Yeah, just uh, want to add something shortly. Sorry, Anja. Especially the attitude, which is a very important, because a lot of people they are maybe great in study. They're genius. They were the best back in the country, number one in the class, and so on. So they are not taking seriously the internship part. They are late in the morning. They are not shaved properly, and so on. Very carefully with that because that will destroy your image as a good student. For number one, you will be the last one. Just want to clarify that this is a very, very important, your attitude, your way acting, talking to people, be with people, be on time, be conscious of what you're doing it. You want to do something because you know your parents spend a lot of money. So you have to be a good student, but also good into the working environment. This is very important. If you're not super, it doesn't matter. But you have to show that you really want to learn something. And that's very important. Attitude, I would say, on top of the list. Sorry. Thank you for pointing that out, Mr. Ribai. Uh, the next question is about the intakes. The question from Eunice, which intakes are there for the degree course in Switzerland? But uh, Mr. Johnson, you can also later on talk about the intakes at uh, uh, BOMA. So for the, the Eunice, for the first year, we have eight intakes. The second year, we also have eight intakes per year. But for the final year, if you have done your studies at BOMA, we have three intakes. February, August, and November. So in case you missed one of them, you can always go for the next intakes. And it takes approximately two to three months to prepare the visa documents. So if you are now, if you apply for November, it's still fine. It's just an example. So at uh, BIHC, um, Johnson, would you like to, to tell us a little bit about the intake? Yes. So we have three intakes uh, per year, uh, which is January, May, and September. So uh, um, currently, actually, our September intake is ongoing. So if you're looking to start studying here in, in Kenya before you go to Switzerland, then um, um, you, can, you can reach out to us via study at pic.ac.ke. Right? And we'll take it up from there. Next question. I want to know that's from Alice. I want to know the courses that you have in Switzerland. So you either do uh, hotel and hospitality management, global business management, or culinary arts. These are the three majors that we offer from bachelor to master, also, if you once you finish with the bachelor. So then uh, for Mercy, the qualification for going to Switzerland to finish degree course. Um, this I've uh, explained a little bit earlier also with uh, Mr. Ribai, but uh, we can later on, I will put uh, the contact uh, slides so we can uh, have a talk individually. So I will guide you step by step with the application process for that. I think most of the question about the requirements, how much is the fees for the course? So, um, Mr. Johnson, if you could uh, answer that question and then I'll answer for BHMS. Yeah, okay. So, <clears throat> our fee is, um, call it half a million a year, um, in Kenya shillings, because you have your tuition fee, which is 432,000, and then you have some add-ons, right? For example, your application fee, you have your student ID, you have some liability insurance, and uh, finally, of course, you have your uniform right which is uh, for culinary arts that is six thousand and for hotel management is thirty thousand yeah so yes of course it might it might seem like a big sum in totality but uh we do have 
fee payment options, right? So you could decide to either, you know, you want to pay it in full, you even get a 5% discount if you decide to, to clear it um, upfront. But um, if you'd like to pay in installments, then you can pay it in either two installments, three installments, and even now because of the financial constraints on, on your parents or your financial sponsors, then we're even allowing you to pay up to six installments, right? And that's for our full-time uh, programs. For our foundation program, which is for the students maybe who didn't do too well in KCSE, then the fee is 93,000, which can also be paid into installments. Anja. All right. So for uh, BHMS for the final year, the one year fee, all inclusive, it includes the tuition fee, the application fee, the shared accommodation, the meals plan, all the operating expenses such as health insurance, uh, airport pickup, the excursions, and so on. So all inclusive is 34,500 Swiss francs. However, with the situation, we have a special package of uh, around up to 6,000 Swiss francs. So instead of 34,500, is down to 28,500 and we can also discuss about installment. So this can be done on two installment, 60% before you leave uh, Kenya and the remaining 40% once you arrive in Switzerland within the next three months. So I hope that uh, answered your question, Mercy. Yeah, no, sorry, just maybe you wanna add something. Well, we don't know the student, each students are different, but I know the student here in Switzerland uh, our student during the six months of internship, they are able to saving all the 65% of our student, they can save all the six salary, which come out 35 to 40% of the entire school fees you can pay back to your parents. So actually your parents need to invest 60 to 65% maximum. But if you like party champagne every night, then it's becoming very difficult to save money. But it is possible because in Switzerland, you, you get paid. I just checked the, the currency exchange with the Kenyan shilling. So when, you, when your gross salary is at 2,390 Swiss francs, it comes to 284,000 Kenyan shilling. That's your monthly salary today. Okay. And I think myself or Mr. Johnson or Olive, we all did our internships in Switzerland. We can say how much money we save per month. We could do a lot. We can help the parents for the next year. And we can also travel around Switzerland, travel Europe, even travel the world. True. Very true. So the, the next question is from um, Eunice. Can someone who has completed culinary arts proceed for a degree in hotel management without going through diploma in hotel management? So um, you need to answer that question. Yes, you can, you can do so. Um, we just need to check your credits. What are the courses that you have done? So we'll need to, to see uh, your transcript for the first year. And then we see if there are missing some subjects, you'll need to do, let's say, kind of a bridging program yeah. into the hotel management. I don't know, Mr. Iba, if you'd like to add yes. something. Yes, well, well normally we're doing it. If there is a lot of differences between what you learn and what you're going to, for example, global business, then definitely you may need to have this bridging period, which is a three months. You have to study four top management topics which gives you the maximum amount of credits to be equally and to enter into the final year of a global business with hospitality maybe some time but again depending on, on your on your on your on your credits your background of a study we can see maybe that you don't even have to invest extra money for that then maybe we attach one or two extra subject to finish it so at the end of the day, your year will be more tougher than other student because you have studied less before. So you have to work more hard now, but at the end, you don't have to invest money. But when we see the difference is too much, then like Ms. Hamza has just told you, the bridging course of a three months is very important, but you invest for one and a half year, but you're also working for the same period. So nine months study followed by nine months of a working experience and not only six. So a little bit more money will come back. This is 
the situation. It's always depending on, on, on your credits, your background, what you have studied before. If you have enough management topics to reach that level, they'll say, okay, let's give him an extra one or two subjects and then it's okay. So there is no extra cost. But again, if it's too much different that we really need to do a bridging course, so an extra investment is needed, but not fully, only half of it. Thank you very much. Next question is from uh, Enoch. While at BHMS, does the school provide accommodation? So Enoch, uh, yes, BHMS provides accommodation. Uh, in it, it also it also in, it's also included in the in the fees, in the all inclusive fees that I mentioned earlier. So you have shared accommodation, but uh, you have shared. Uh, uh, bedroom, you have balcony, you have kitchen, you have most of the bathroom inside the room, all equipped kitchen and everything. So at a BIHC, uh, Mr. Johnson, if you could also answer regarding the accommodation. Yep, thank you. Uh, we don't have in-house accommodation here at BIHC, so we work with um, a partner called Kwetu. I believe it's pretty uh, popular to to people out there. They offer very good accommodation. Um, it's, uh, we actually were there just last week to, to, to inspect their property. Um, so during this time of coronavirus, they've also made a few adjustments which we're very happy about. But in general, um, it's an additional fee, but it's very close to the campus. It's a safe environment. They offer um, a very nice workplace for the, for the students to do their group discussions and whatnot, but they also have recreation facilities, right? Like um, table tennis, pool, uh, movies, and so on and so forth. So it's a very conducive environment for, for a student. So I hope that uh, answers your question, Enoch. And uh, I forgot to mention earlier, we, ho we have the shared accommodation, but if you'd like also, we have a premium accommodation and also single studio, if you want to have your own, your own room. The next question is from uh, AV uh, from Nairobi. Does the culinary certificate program at BIHC offer as much opportunities for those who may have financial constraints but very eager to work in the hospitality industry? So I think that question is towards you, Mr. Johnson. Yeah. Um, normally, for a certificate, you know, the reason we're here is to encourage you as a student to keep learning and keep growing and keep developing. Um, because if you look at it out there, the competition is so stiff, right? And and I'm sure Mr. Rebai can confirm this, but, you know, the in our industry, yes, it's practical, but also the employer wants to see that, you know, you've, you've, you've done a bit of study, right? You've gone to your degree level, maybe even you've gone above to your PGD or to your master's level. So yes, the certificate program at PIC will give you the hands-on skills that you need because it's a one-year program. Um, and definitely after that, maybe you can find uh, a job. But um, the question is, you know, if you're thinking long term, you know, how long will this certificate carry you up the ladder? Yeah. So just to answer your question, it's a tricky one, but yes, you may work with this certificate, but I would definitely advise you, um, even if the finances are not available right now, you can start with the certificate, work a little bit. When the funds are available, just make sure you continue with your, with your diploma. And if, you know, if you're a very good student and you have your financial challenges, then of course you can be considered for a degree um, at BHMS as well through the scholarship. Yeah. Yes, I just want to add something. You, you're totally right. Getting a certificate, it's okay. But like you say, investing one extra here, that will be much better. Because uh, if you're looking for a job just to get some money and taking care of your, your friends, your family, whatever, may be okay for you. But we are talking now, where, how long can I keep that position? Can I go forward later on? you're not going anywhere. Very seldom you have people who click without study and get an above position. A degree, a diploma are very important. Once you reach them, then you can look for a different job position. And then you can say, I rather would like to work here instead of there. 
But if you don't have that qualification, it will become very difficult that you say, I want this or I want that. I'm sorry, but it's reality. Thank you. That's sure. Okay. So from from uh, Eric, uh, he would like to speak <clears throat> with uh, Mr. Johnson directly. So Eric, at the end of this webinar, uh, we are going to show a slide with the content. the email address, the mobile, and the WhatsApp of uh, each one of us, so you can reach him directly after the webinar. Yeah. So one another question from Amina. Hi, um, Kenyan from BH, BIHC. So my question is, do you have to finish the two years in BOMA so uh, to join BHMS? Thank you. So um, Amina, uh, uh, we would like to see first your transcript. Are you first year or second year? So in case you'd like to join BHMS right after the first year, you can also do so. But the ideal is that you finish the two years so you can come directly to the final year. But uh, we can have a look at your transcript after the webinar. So I can advise you individually uh, how, how we can proceed for that. Uh, from uh, Casimir, hello. I would like to ask about the scholarship once someone has got the scholarship, how much will they have to pay? So, uh, Mr. Johnson, would you like to start or should I start with uh, the scholarship? I mean, the, the financial aid at BHMS. Um, I think you can go ahead. All right, so Casimir, uh, to answer your question, let's say the, the final year at uh, BHMS is 34,500. The scholarship is up to 6,000. So the remaining amount that you have to pay is 28,500. And that's for the, the full year, all inclusive. And that what uh, I mentioned earlier, we you can pay in installment in case uh, you have a, a problem uh, we, with to, to pay it right after the visa, because normally you, can, you have to pay it as soon as you get your visa. But with the coronavirus situation, what is happening happening with this pandemic, we can um, discuss on a uh, installment plan. So you can pay 60% before you leave Kenya and the remaining 40% within three months of your arrival at BHMS. I think- so um, I hope that answers your- uh, Andre, uh, just, um, I'd just like to add something. Uh, Lea Casemira, uh, I think I know her very well. She's a very good student. Um, very sharp, so I guess you're you're definitely aiming for the for the scholarship after you graduate, right? So for this one, it's an academic scholarship, so you still have some 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 finances, some fees that you need to pay to BHMS, but it comes up to around seven thousand to eight eight thousand Swiss francs, right? Which takes you know considering compared to the thirty thousand thirty four thousand Swiss francs, it's a very big discount, a very big scholarship. Uh, so she was uh, uh, mentioning about the full scholarship. I, 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 okay, all right. <laughs> She's a good student. All I'm, right, I'm sorry. I'm aiming for that. Okay, so um, Kashimir, I uh, just wanted to add, yes, Mr. Johnson is right. So uh, you have, you still have to pay the accommodation, the meals and the operating expenses. So the scholarship, is for the tuition fee. So you don't have to pay the 24,000 uh, tuition fee, but the operating expenses, this is the remaining amount that you'll pay. So I hope that answers your question. So uh, from Virginia, is there any scholarship at BOMA? Unfortunately, not at the moment. Um, uh, again, I just wanted to mention that um, you don't have to pay the full fee um, all at once, you have the installment plans, either two installments, three installments, or even six installments now. Yeah. So from my uh, unis, uh, how long are the Swiss student visa valid? So the, your student visa is valid for your entire year in Switzerland. So let's say you apply now for the visa, it will take three months, two to three months till you, you get your visa, but then once you arrive in Switzerland, you'll receive 
be permit and with that be permit you can travel all around the Schengen areas in Europe you can all travel around the around Switzerland and it will be valid till the end of your internship so after you finish with your six months internship so I hope that answers Uni's question um, next one from Nicole what is the graduation pass mark at a BIHC so as to be eligible to join BHMS so uh, Nicole you have to be a good student at BIHC in order to come to to join BHMS but we will have a look at your transcript and uh, I can guide you after the webinar so that, that's all for uh, the question that we have I'm just going to display the the contact slide. So here you have the contact details of uh, Mr. Johnson, Mr. Ribai, and myself. You have the email address, you have the WhatsApp, the telephone number, so you can always you can always contact us at any time if, if you have other question, because now we passed uh, more than one hour. Uh, I would like to thank thank all of you who have joined this webinar for all those uh, amazing questions, and I hope we answered all of them. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Johnson, for hosting the webinar with us, and uh, really hope really hope to see you soon in Kenya. You're always welcome. Actually, our our airport is open, so uh, all you need is a COVID test, and you're here. There is no quarantine time. Two weeks no. waiting. Are you sure? No, unless unless your temperature is 39, 39 degrees at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's it's very it's very safe. Um, I think Kenya was the first country in the world to uh, to get this uh, certified safe. Ah, very good. So, uh, Karibu. Karibu. Jambo. Jambo. <laughs> yeah, but thank you so much. Thank you very. Thank much. you very much, and thank you, student. Thank you. And I hope and I wish to see you, all of you in Switzerland. And please do not hesitate to contact Mr. Johnson as a priority is in the school. So you're there in Nairobi and definitely right after Ms. Honja, who is our African manager, she can go into every single detail what you need to know regarding further study. Can I come earlier to study? Can I come on the final year? Everything it is possible. We will then uh, taking care of your support. No question about it. Thank you again, Ms. Olive. You were amazing. You give us exactly the understanding what was your experience, your passion, your 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 working heart and so on. And now you can I can see your, your bright future. You may have some ideas what to do, or either as soon states or UAE is open that you can go over there because you have done already enough to get approved to enter into a top company in the States or maybe in Europe or whatsoever. And I wish you all the best. And when I come to Kenya with Ms. Onja or alone, I will definitely would like to invite you for lunch together with Johnson. We can discuss further about the NES plan. All right. Thank, Thank you so very much. much. And I wish you a lovely weekend. Bye bye. And be safe still. Don't forget. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. See bye, you. Bye, Oli. Bye, bye. See you. Thank Take you. Bye-bye.